Alright, hello YouTube. Welcome back to a uh, YouTube thumbnail tutorial video. Here is just an example of my work. So, this was one of my videos that I made, and you can make an awesome introduction like mine using Motion 5. If you have Motion 5, you can watch the my video on it. So, this is an example of my work. Uh, now I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to do it. So let's just open a new file. Mine is 1920 by 1080. Alright, here. Um, at this point, what I have here is I have a uh, brighter green selected for my um, foreground color and a darker green selected for my background color. From here, what you want to do is you want to um, you want to convert this to a smart object, then rasterize the layer. And what you want to do now is you want to go to blending options and add gradient overlay. Select the style to radial and drag, and for the scale, drag it all the way up. Then for the gradient, select your preset colors, and it should look like this now. But again, at the moment, it looks absolutely nothing like what you saw back there. I mean, on that one, yeah. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is go to my brushes tool, and you can see I have all these sunbursts. 1280 is personally my favorite, and I'm just gonna increase the size a bit and click right in the middle bam you should have something that looks kind of like this then what you're gonna want to do is right click on that your layer one click blending options click gradient overlay click your preset color and for style click radial and decrease or increase this a bit to remove some of the rays like this so I'm just gonna do this since it looks better better this way in my opinion at least then you're gonna want to add some text the font I am using and this is Blair M D I T I T C T T it comes with uh, Photoshop then you're going to want to drag this across and type. Make sure it's at the size you want it to be at. For me, I'll just do it. Oh, let's do 400. Okay. Uh, let's decrease that down a bit to 200. Okay, that's good. Okay. Um, now... What I'm going to type is, let's see, since this, how to make a, and I'll just keep it like that, and put it here. Then what I'm going to do is go to uh, Google Images, and I'm going to type in, how about YouTube? So you're going to want to find a PNG because usually those are clear. For example this, then just click save image as, save, and drag this right, oops, right onto uh, Photoshop. Like, like so and it should appear clear kind of like that to resize it just hold shift and drag the corner and I'm just gonna move it up here a bit and down here I'm gonna make another text box that says thumbnail ah I see 
I need to decrease the size of this. Okay, well, let's make this 150. That that should be. Some. Yep. Enter. And I'm gonna click the move move tool and move it down here a bit. Then go back to this layer. Center this out a bit. And what I'm gonna do is hold control at the same time and select the two texts. Oh, they don't offer that. Okay, never mind. Ignore what I said. Okay, here for to make your text pop out a bit more, just click blend, right click and click blending options. I'm gonna click color overlay. I'm gonna choose a bit of uh bluish grayish color still doesn't look that good so I'll click stroke and I recommend changing the color to white just because it makes the text pop out a bit more and change the size a bit then if you want to add even extra it already looks nice but if you want it to make it look much better you can select uh, bevel and emboss and uh, increase you can increase the size or decrease the size and see it makes the text stand out a bit more right then I usually just click inner glow and then I click outer glow for this I just at I'll just pick a color really quickly red and spread size 35 size 32 that's what I f usually find the best and I usually do inner shadow and drop shadow. And for spread, I do 35. For size, I do 32. And there. Now I'm just going to copy this layer style and paste it right onto here. And now they're exactly identical. And here is a uh, little a thumbnail that stands out a bit more. Goodbye, YouTube, and have a nice day.